Hey there, fun food fans. It's Karen Ricks, head chef here at our kitchen classroom. And we are celebrating this month of February, Black History Month, both historically, culturally, geogra geographically, and of course, culinarily. <laughs> People ask me all the time, well, what kind of food do you eat to celebrate Black History Month? <laughs> there are so many different things, but more than just the specific foods or dishes, I love sharing special and very specific techniques that you can use to extract the most flavor out of all of your ingredients. Here at our kitchen classroom, we love to really highlight local and sustainable cooking and when you're using all of the food products from an animal or with meat, we talk a lot about nose to tail or tip to tail cooking where you use the entire animal. Well, the same holds true for produce as well. So I want to demonstrate a special technique for you today where we are going to extract all of the juicy flavors out of our citrus fruits, which we have in abundance here this winter here in Tirana, Albania. And we're going to use them in everything. We want to make sure that you can too. All right. So come on down and let's take a look at what we have here on our bench. All right. So we actually had another member of our play with your food community, Estella, ask what she can do with her oranges. Now, having grown up in Southern California myself, I love that wonderful, bright, citrusy flavor of oranges. And then someone else asked, well, how can you take advantage of all of that extra produce when I suggested zesting. So that's what we're gonna to demonstrate to here today. I have a couple of very simple, basic tools, like a paring knife, a box grater, and a handheld zester. And this is just one of several different types that you might use. But I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of different ways that we can use all of this beautiful golden orange, okay? First, let's talk about what it is we're actually doing. Zesting is the process of removing the zest or this beautiful bright orange peel on this fruit. And the reason we wanna do that is unlike actually cutting out segments of the fruit inside the peel and using that flesh or even just squeezing out the juice, the essential oils that you find here in the skin of your citrus fruit contain so many more powerful, flavorful compounds that that's really where you're gonna get so much of that orange aroma and flavor. So the first thing you wanna do, and I've already done this here, is to wash your citrus. Lots of citrus pro packers uh, automatically coat the fruit in a protective wax. This is to help prevent the fruit itself, the peel, from being damaged as the fruit is jostled around during shipping. And you can generally tell because you can sometimes see it or even feel it. It's a light waxy coating on the surface of the peel. And so you wanna wash that off and dry it thoroughly. Once you have done that, you should be able to scratch the surface without seeing a waxy buildup. And when you do, oh, you should be able to smell extra strong aromas coming from the peel. That's what it is we're gonna extract with the zest. Now, as I said, there are a couple of different ways we can do this. One is with a very simple paring knife. So I'm gonna hold this knife and I'm gonna gently peel toward my body, aiming for taking off the orange part of the fruit. And I'm gonna purposely do this a lot deeper than I otherwise would to demonstrate something specific here, okay? Now, that's way more than just the <laughs> peel or the zest that we would want if we're trying to zest the fruit. You don't wanna to dig too deeply, but you know here in our kitchen classroom, I am all about encouraging young and inexperienced cooks to help in the kitchen. And so if this happens, that is perfectly okay. What we want is just the orange peel and not the bitter white pith that's underneath, nor do we want to get to the juicy fruit, okay? So if that happens, all we're gonna do is lay this peel open, and then again, taking your paring knife, lay this piece gently down on a cutting board, and slicing gently, you can cut away from you, 
here we go, and actually take out the bitter pith. This white part here, and you can taste it. Go ahead and put it in your mouth. It is bitter. It is not pleasant to eat, and it doesn't have the flavorful compounds that we're looking for. But little by little, when you cut out that white pith, which you can do by gently scraping your knife, you can see the difference here. Now here you've got just the orange peel, and it, we've removed the white pith. And so this is what it is we're trying to save. Now, once you have determined that you really just have the peel and not the bitter pith, you can take these pieces and again, with your knife, just cut light strips like this, or even maybe a bigger swath like this, depending on how you plan to use the orange peel that you're zesting. This little piece of zest is a perfect strip for giving a little twist to help release those oils. And you can toss it in a cocktail or even a simple glass of water to add wonderful orange flavor. Doesn't that look pretty inside? <laughs> All right, so these little pieces we can just set aside. Now, another thing that you can use is a box grater. I like this particular style of box grater because the fact that it has four <laughs> corners on the bottom means it can sit flat on your work surface. This particular one has a rubberized bottom, so I can really anchor it even if I decide to hold it at an angle to zest. And if you have the sharp, prickly, smallest holes, the finest shredding holes, uh, you probably don't want to use the larger cutting holes or slicer on your box grater just for zesting. The smallest two are going to be your best bet. And then you can take the fruit and gently press down to remove the zest. And you can see how it left those pretty little scratches in the surface of my orange, whether it's here or on the other side. There we go. And you can see I prefer the smaller shredding holes here on this box grater. You can see the two simple swipes. It took off a lot more smooth section that removed just the orange zest and not revealing a bunch of the white pith. So that means when I dig inside my box grater here to scrape those little bits out, I am not gonna have a lot of bitter orange pith. My favorite tool though to use is a handheld zester. You might have something like this which has the smaller holes, like on our box grater, or the tinier shredding holes like this. These ones are uh, slightly smaller than the ones on my box grater, but this is a lot easy, more easily held in the left hand while I hold and manipulate the fruit in my right. You might also have a microplane zester, which is a long rectangular prism with angled blades you can often find these in home improvement stores or with woodworking tools, and they are fabulous for removing zest. I'm simply gonna use a small container like this bowl here, holding my zester over the top of the bowl, and I'm gonna give it two simple swipes and then rotate the fruit so that I can remove the zest without getting to the pith, just like this. And rotate, and rotate. And by continuously turning the fruit, you can see where the zest has been removed, but where it hasn't exposed too much of the pith. And that's what we want. And now, on the bottom of my zester here, you see, I've got all these wonderful little bits of orange zest. It's even dripping with the oils and <laughs> even my hands are turning orange. Oh, it smells like I'm in the middle of an orange grove. This is so fantastic. So I'm just gonna take my knife and I can scrape to remove this zest here. Now the question, after you've done all this zesting, what can you do with it? Well, where else would you like to infuse this magnificent orange flavor? I actually like to take some of the zest like this and apply it to savory applications. You know, if you take uh, about a teaspoon of this and mix it with a good tablespoon or two of salt and grind it together like with a mortar and pestle, it makes the most amazing orange salt, <laughs> which you can use anywhere. You might enjoy salt 
and an orange flavor, but I especially like it on greens or on dark green salads. Anything that uses spinach or kale or collards, it is an amazing combination. But of course, I am especially particular to sweet applications as well. And one of my recommendations in our Play With Your Food community was to add this zest to the cinnamon sugar filling in your cinnamon rolls. Oh my goodness gracious. You know how amazing your house smells when you have freshly baked cinnamon rolls? Now imagine that and then amp it up with the fresh zest of an orange. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely heavenly. <laughs> and you can use this in a lot of other baking or cooking applications as well. Anywhere that you might add a squeeze of orange juice, you can add a small amount of the orange zest. It's not going to add all the liquid to your application, but it is going to add all that wonderful orange flavor. Now, you notice that I started with my oranges and I began before I had ever cut or tried to peel or juice them because once you have finished removing all the zest, then your orange isn't protected anymore, and that's when you wanna really go to town on the insides. You can wrap it up in plastic and set it aside in your refrigerator to use at a later time if you're not ready to dig into the flesh itself. But when you are, then you can go ahead and use the fruit just like you would normally. I'm gonna take this one that I already zested completely. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to use my little reamer here. You could use a handheld reamer or whatever other kind of juicer you like to squeeze and get the juice out of this fruit. And now what I'm going to do, I have here in this saucepan a mixture of two to one sugar to frozen berries. In this case, I have some raspberries. I'm gonna make a little syrup. And so I've got uh, approximately a cup of raspberries and a half a cup of a mix of brown and white sugars. And to that, I'm gonna add this juice of half an orange here, and that's gonna be just enough of a liquid to help bring this together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this pot on the stove and simmer away until we have a beautiful orange raspberry syrup. It's gonna be so delicious. What do I do with the rest of all of this zest? Well, that's the beauty of this preservation technique. By removing the zest right now when it's fresh, I can seal this up and put it in the freezer and then I can use it at a later time too. All the goodness of that fresh orange flavor, even when I can't go out and pick a fresh orange. <laughs> what are you gonna do with your orange zest? <laughs> I'm gonna leave a link to our Play With Your Food community. I would love to see the pictures <laughs> and hear the stories of all the wonderful things that you're doing with your citrus zest in your kitchen classroom, wherever you are in the world. And keep coming back for even more culinary techniques that we are using to extract all the flavor here during Black History Month. I will see you later. Take care.